just wanted to uh, ask you about, uh, you've travelled through uh, Russia before when you did Pole to Pole. Yes, yes. Uh, very important I've been through time. two or three times, yeah. Mm. What was it like uh, filming with that in mind? Did it bring back memories? And Well, I've always had some mixed feelings about Russia. I mean, uh, they have the, the sort of bureaucracy and there's a kind of, uh, kind of oppressive sort of state feeling. And yet, when you get through to individual Russians, they're very wacky. Yeah. and funny and they love comedy and they love jokes and they love vodka and all that and we, we had some of the happiest times you know oh, good. yeah nice. yeah nice. so I, I you know I hope that the Russians who see this will be the people that I I met okay. <laughs> tell me a little bit about why you want to be involved in this and what are the main challenges for you taking on this kind of well, crazy I mean, role if Armando Inuccio asked you to be in something you don't sort of think twice no. No. Um, I'm such a fan of his he's been responsible for so many great things from yeah. the day to day right through Alan Partridge's feet yeah. so to work with him I thought was mm. just you know you can't go wrong yeah. also I was quite intrigued by the story in fact he was doing a comedy mm. about some of the nastiest people in the world doing the most ruthless things mm. at, uh, at the time but you know that intrigued me yeah. and, and so the fact he could do a comedy and keep it serious and keep a kind of certain historical background that was yeah. accurate I don't think anybody else was doing something like that, to be honest. I mean, were you trepidatious about telling the story, or are you, are you fearless in comedy, do you think? Well, I was, you know, I had, I had confidence in, in Armando mm. and his team of writers yeah. uh, that he had with him. Mm. They listened to you, they talked to you. If there was anything that you were worried about, yeah. we could work it through. Yeah. It was a very consultative process, which yeah. was great. What was it like having this kind of very, yeah. very different group of comedians all working together? Because you're all so amazing in your own right, but some of you are quite different. I, was well, there like any kind of, you know... No, there wasn't really. So I mean, in really no, well. there was very little competition. Really I think because we all <laughs> sort of liked each other's work. Yeah. I mean, genuinely did. So yeah. we didn't have to go on saying, I love you, I love you. Yeah. We just sort of were, were pleased that Armando had chosen us and we felt it was working and yeah. it was working as soon as we started rehearsing. Yeah. So for me to work with someone like Paul Whitehouse, who I think is one of the you know the best comedy character actors mm. in the country, that was a great thing. Yeah. And what do you think about the reaction? There's been talk about the discussion catching wind of this and not being the best thing. Well, I mean this is all good for publicity, I have <laughs> yeah. to say. You know, I've been through this through life of Brian, you know, we've had people oh. saying this should not be on. Yeah. As soon as someone said it's not should not be on, other people are going to want to see it. Um, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure there will be people who won't like it. What yeah. even what are reasons they don't like it? That's yeah. up to them. But I think someone was quoted as saying it might, um, you know, the the um, destabilize Russia. Well, if we can destabilize <laughs> Russia, it can't be very stable. That's all yeah, I'm exactly. saying. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey. hey.